are today down in Nashville, Georgia, with Ron, owner of Hemi Heads. What an operation he has. These buildings after buildings, he's building these old vehicles, and he's the only place I could find to rebuild this 1916 Buick. And here's the parts. And there is the Buick all loaded up and ready to go back home. It's been down here for months as you have turned around and looked for uh, parts to this particular car. Now this car was bought at an auction. For the video, I'm not going to name that auction, Ron, because I don't want to turn around and give them uh, you know, the impression that I'm bashing the auction. What I'm bashing is, is uh, the line SOB that said this car was running. And you made a comment after doing a, a extensive search on the parts and everything else. What did you find out about? Could this could this Buick ever have run? When the car showed up here, we inspected the electrical starter generator distributor system. There's no way this car could run. Parts were missing. Things weren't in there it was supposed to be. And inspecting it, it hasn't run in a long time, as anybody can see. We sent this unit to a respectable starter generator rebuilder, and he said it's impossible. There's no way we could do it. We finally found another usable piece at the National Car Meet in Hershey, PA. Our man rebuilt it completely, uh, installed it on the car, and we did get it running. Uh, we had to do extensive work on the rocker arms. They were not properly lubricated or fitted. Uh, they were painted with the motor. You could tell they were never run. There was no, the paint wasn't even off them. Uh, the car does run now and it does generate. Uh, I think uh, whoever said this car run really misleaded the buyer because there's no way it could have run with this equipment on it. Well, I'd certainly appreciate you giving a recap. Now, I asked to, for a couple of other things for the car for which you did, but I'm not looking to get reimbursed for that. I just want to be able to break down the cost, and if you would for me, because uh, we changed the exhaust. The exhaust was straight through, and it should have gone over the rear axle. We, we, did, we did not change the exhaust. Oh, you did not change no, the exhaust? we did not change the exhaust. That was all Mickey Mouse, and we couldn't get it in. The small pipe that does not fit our benders. Okay, so anyway, with that, uh, I noticed you put a bar between the, the light were falling off the, the car. headlights were falling off which I, that's not something I'm expecting but the issue was is running right the car and here also uh, down here with me this is the famous Woody Heath hey Woody how you doing, how you doing mr. Greg in Ron's operation it's top incredible top-notch and you can't find me to work on this old stuff except him there you go <laughs> well I appreciate you introducing me to Ron and we got this car well, up and running. I told running. you I'd find to get it running. That was a miracle. There you go. Well, thank you very much, Ron. I appreciate it. And We're going to supply you with the old parts we took off the car for further inspection. If anybody wants to look at this and tell us how this stuff run, uh, these points, and, and this is what come off the car when we got it. Um, and the armature had to be restrained if it yeah. was going to have to be redone. Right. And they had painted all the... Uh, yeah. All of the push rods, right? Oh, they painted the whole engine. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, you were saying you couldn't even tell from well, the, it the was paint painted, wasn't of course, cracked. It never it wasn't right. even no. scraped where it goes up and down through the hole. So That's therefore, correct. the car never ran. It couldn't have run. Okay. It, it had a run at one time, but it wasn't yeah. run when it came here. Not through the <laughs> auction and not down here. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much yeah. for this. We'll get it on back to Atlanta. Okay. Sounds okay. good.